What's up, y'all? Well, cut me off, David Hoops. Um, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the past series. We have two races left, and they're both in Florida. We are at the USA International Speedway in Lakeland, Florida, for the second to final race on the schedule here. And yeah, um, this isn't anything like the actual USA International, but it's. The fact that it's banked and a lot faster than the real USA International makes it a lot more entertaining and a lot more interesting. So we're just gonna go with this. Green flag is in the air. We are racing here from USA International. And already some three wide as we head down the back straight away. This is like a mini a mini super speedway. Like if a, a short track in a super speedway had a baby, this is what it would produce. Gerhardt moving up. He gets underneath the four and the six. Dexter Bean trying to fight back on the high side, but there's no fighting back up there. How about Jason Hedleski working his way up? And Dexter Bean is able to fight back, so I take it back. How about Blake Borkland trying to work his way up? He knows he needs to gain some spots and pass that 46 car if he wants a shot to win the championship next week in Miami. and around goes Bernie Lamar. He's going to save it. He's coming back up the track and there goes Todd Bodine and Todd Bosher, the two Todds into the outside wall in turn one. So that's going to bring out the first caution of the day and it took a lot longer than we were expecting the way they were racing up there. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again here from USA International. Already three wide. Oh boy. Aaron Crocker on the outside of this. Now it's Bobby Gerhardt. And now more three wide. And around goes the 26 and the 5. Collecting Dexter Bean. And more wrecking. Oh, hard hit for Kevin Hamlin. He's in the catch fence. He's flipping. Another car is upside down on the front straight away. Ken Weaver barrel rolling down the front stretch here at USA International. What in the world is going on here? We had three separate wrecks in the span of 10 seconds there. And they got more and more brutal as time went on. Oh my goodness. Your Texas World winner still driving that thing after tumbling it multiple times. What happened here? Oh. Oh my goodness. Up on top of Justin Allgaier and then barrel roll. I try to describe what just happened, but it's honestly really hard to, so I'll just, I'll just let you guys watch and you'll be able to see for yourselves. My goodness, and that firework just scared the heck out of me. Look at Duggan Basham, he got up in the air as well, the 99 barrel rolled, and 
got up into the catch fence and did more tumbling and wow i mean just a lot of stuff went down there that was an unholy looking wreck anyway we're gonna jump back into it here green flag in the air we're racing once again here from usa international let's, look, let's get a good flyby down the back straight away here oh that was beautiful anyway it's jason jarrett trying to get underneath ryan howard is here comes the nine of Donnie Leah trying to get underneath Jerry. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. They're going three wide again. And they seem to have sorted it out this time. 45. Michael Simcoe way off the pace. He's got a lot of damage to the back of that 45 car. So that might cause an issue. Oh boy, stacking up trying to avoid him. This isn't gonna end well. This is gonna result in a wreck sooner or later. As we're three wide. Oh boy, Dan Shaver just able to squeeze through contact. Simcoe down into the grass, back up the racetrack. Oh, hang on to it. He's gonna hang on to it somehow there. Still three squeezing together for three and four. Turn four. More contact and the round goes. Justin Allgaier into the inside wall on the front straightaway and that will bring out the caution once again. As Frank Kimmel was catching the 61 car. Going to challenge him for the lead here. Not quite able to get there down the front straightaway. But he might take it later on. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again here from USA International. Steven Wallace with a great jump. Oh, wrecking! And that is not the switch cars button. But a hard hit for Brian Kozlowski and more get involved as well. It's the 31 of Bernie Lamar. Todd Bosher and Brian Foster involved as well here. Oh man. What happened here? Just not clear. Oh! Went up a little wall hard. And then, oh. down the track man let's try this again black back into the air we're about halfway through this thing already what in the world did I just see that was a great that was awesome like some sort of pile driver anyways um sorry I was looking up at the TV um When's the wreck gonna happen this time? That's all I can say. Todd Bosher on the inside, as well as Kevin Hamlin, rolled like 15 times and hit the catch fence. And is somehow still in the race. Uh, I don't know how, but he is. They're all rolling along on the inside line, holding a lot of good race cars up. And this is where we go three wide and things go wrong. Really Weeks trying to hang on. Really Weeks in that 27 car. And now Michael Simcoe. Oh boy, both lanes are about to be blocked. No, they slipped through on the high side. Oh man, Aaron Crocker gets old there. 
pushing that 99 up the racetrack. Kevin Hamlin, and now stuck behind Michael Simcoe, so it didn't really get her far, but Kevin Hamlin somehow held on to it. Billy Weiss, what happened to you? Not sure what happened to the 27 car. It's way off the pace. I believe he might be blowing up. He's going to head down into pit road. When's the next caution? Come on. Show me. There it is. We knew it was coming. Oh man, who is that upside down on the back straightaway? Is that? Don't tell me. Don't tell me that was Frank Kimmel on this route. Don't tell me. We're gonna watch. Kimmel. Oh, contact with Brad Smith. Back up the racetrack. Oh my goodness, a hard hit for Frank Kimmel. Upside down. They hit that opening in it. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a great angle for that. Let's uh, go back here and take a look at it. This is a vicious hit. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Jason Jarrett, Brad Smith, and Frank Kimmel went in hard. And Kimmel on his roof, luckily, is okay. That was a really hard hit. So anyways, we've had three flips in this race. Ain't that something crazy. Green flag is back in the air. And he's going to try to make it to the end at this point. But we got lap traffic. Uh, damage to lap traffic. In the field here, so it's not going to be too easy to do if we have another caution. What's it for this time? not relevant then because they won't show me. Green flag back into the air. And another caution. Green flag once again. Now a 10 to go restart. That means double file. Would it make it to the end? Here comes Brent Sherman on the inside in the 04 car. Sherman's going to take the lead from the USA International. Championship contenders now finding their way to the front after what happened to Frank Kimmel. They want a shot to win the championship next week. Next week. This is definitely how you do it. Workman's needs to hang on to P2 and hope to get his way up into the lead as well. I'm just going to jump through. Two laps to go. Can he hang on to it? Hops uh, back down to the bottom, cuts off the 08. Jason had Leslie trying everything to get by that 32 car. Coming to the white this time by white flag. One more time around in the defensive line down the front straightaway for Blake Portland. Brent Sherman has this thing pretty much locked up. In the bag. He's going to come through turns three or four. He's going to win from USA International. And Blake Borkland hangs on to P2. Brian Howard comes home in 10th. Well, this changes everything. Let's go ahead and look at your points.
So, after USA International, your points are looking like this. Brian Kimmel, your points leader, at 28, 35, leads over Blake Borkman by 28 points, over Ryan Howard by 119 points, and over Brent Sherman by 154. So all three, all four of these guys are mathematically mathematically eligible to win the championship, but Sherman has to rely on Frank Kimmel to finish somewhere towards the back, pretty much last. I mean, all the way in the back. What the heck? That commercial is so... Ugh! That commercial is so creepy. Oh my god. Ugh. That just creeped me out. I'm sorry, y'all. Ugh, why would they make that? Oh my god. Okay, anyways, um, what was I saying? Yeah, they're gonna have to rely on Kimmel wrecking out. Ugh, that gave me goosebumps. Alright, bye. Just bye.